onward to Hawaii. So a couple things here. Like I said before, Hawaii, uh, heels are 4-0 all time there. Last meeting is in 2016. Uh, three of the four meetings were, have been in Hawaii. I was actually one time back in the day, I think in the hell, 90s or something like that, Hawaii actually came to Chapel Hill. Um, not sure what happened there. Maybe like natural disaster or something out there. Um, but so so obviously Hawaii is you know on par, I would imagine, with American. Um, not a whole lot of NBA prospects coming out of uh, – the fighting rainbows there, but, um, you know, talk through, what is it like? I mean, you've done Maui Invitational. Mm-hmm. It's gotta be equal parts, like exciting, but God, dude, <laughs> I mean, you were yeah. literally flying across the world. Well, this basketball game. Absolutely. And the other thing you've got to give, like, you know, this is something that coach Williams did. He always scheduled a West coast game before the Maui. And you mm-hmm. look at it, I think, I can't remember the teams we played, but we played a game. And so, obviously, they're playing Hawaii right before the Maui Invitational. And the reason it's good because they can get acclimated to the time change. They get to Hawaii. They get settled. Guys can start to develop a little bit of their routine. They can get used to the the, the rims. Uh, and I'll tell you this, too. Uh, a low-key factor is there's a lot to do in Hawaii, in the ocean and wanting to go and see that, be on the beach. Uh, being out in the sun, that zaps your energy. And I think the more, you know, you, you kind of stay focused and you have that business approach and you're going there to win ball games. And I think that's a mindset that this team has to have. And, you know, it's obviously, like you said, we're bigger, we have better players, we're athletic, we should beat Hawaii. Now, what concerns me is we're playing at Hawaii against Hawaii. And we're North Carolina. That doesn't happen a lot. Their fans are going to show up. Uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere. But, you know, I think that this is going to be another good experience for these freshmen. And a lot of these players taking on bigger roles, it's going to be good for them to be in those environments. Because conference play, we're going to see that th- same thing. And they're going to have that experience and they're not going to be rattled. Uh, so I think that's going to be good for them. But what we have to do and – you know, you have to take, you know, it's it's kind of corny, but you got to take the show on the road. And we've talked about it in the past, like, you know, not being the best road team in years prior. Okay, now you're going on the road. you got to take the show. you got to continue to run, play your style, uh, and do what you do best. When you're – when you just outmatch an opponent, I think you've got to focus internally on what you do and really improve as a team – versus try to scout what Hawaii does and what they're going to give you problems. Because I think if you do what you do best uh, against most teams, you're going to win. So obviously I would focus, I would have some good practice. You get to Hawaii, you get acclimated to the time change, uh, the tropical weather, you know, all the, all the, uh, you know, the kind of the BS associated with you know, traveling, you know, I think they're going from Raleigh direct to Hawaii. That's a, 10, 11 hour flight. I can tell you that's uh, that's not easy on the body either. That's a whole nother ball game. But you know, when you get to Hawaii, you stay focused. Okay, you get into a routine, and you know, you look at it and you have some practices. I, you know, I'm not opposed. I'm old school. I think you have to have a a hard practice right before the day before you play Hawaii, uh, just because you're traveling and it kind of sets a tone for the Maui Invitational as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I would look. I would like to see the pace of play. You know, obviously we want to run. I would I would focus on that uh, as soon as you get to Hawaii. I would get guys shots, and I would, you know, make sure that they're working out and they're adjusted. Uh, so that's the way I would approach this, the Hawaii game and the Maui Invitational. Guys, I, this, is probably the, this is probably the one episode that I prepared for more than anything. And I just took it as a given that the first game of the Maui Invitational was against Hawaii. I wonder what. I wonder why. Um, but it's not. And actually, now that you're saying that, you know, I was looking at the schedule online and I was like, huh, I wonder why they have Maui Invitational right in between the first two games. <laughs> Just because it's not in between them. Um, Dayton's the first game of the Maui Invitational. So my bad on that. But no, I'll just, you know, but I'll stick to my guns on 1230. I mean, holy. You I know mean, what? I guess, bro. Sleep, I'll be with you. I, I do not want you up at 1230 just because, <laughs> you know, it's it's not a good situation for either one of us. Oh, and, uh, oh, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, 
we'll catch the recap of that. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, if it's a ball game, I might want to be asleep anyways. So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I might just have to watch that one about 530 when I wake up on a Saturday morning. I guess, it'll, yeah, it'll be Saturday morning. So, um, so, so yeah, I mean, I think, I think you said it all that needs to be said against Hawaii. It's interesting. Got to get there. That's a long flight, dude. Um, it, will they get, do you think they'll go what Thursday? When will they arrive? So originally I think they were scheduled to leave, um, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, mm-hmm. but, uh, I was just at the Smith center and it looked like they might be taking off today, which is Tuesday, but I th- I think it's Wednesday. They're just preparing for tomorrow, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was today. I know they are going direct from Raleigh straight to uh, Honolulu, which is a beast of a flight. I remember mm-hmm. when we went sleep, we went commercial. Uh, so that was a that was mm-hmm. a beast. We had a layover in <laughs> Dallas, um, and uh, we also had a layover in L.A., which I was surprised – I thought Hawaii would just be right off the coast of uh, yeah, that's what it feels like to you California. Get there. Yeah, and then they told me it's going to be like a five hour flight yeah. from L.A. I was like, it's like trying to go to Alaska, man. Like you're like, oh, I'm in Seattle, I'm almost there. Like, nah, man, you might as well fly back home. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that the flight to L.A. to Hawaii is longer than the flight from Raleigh to L.A. Yeah. I, was, I was like, no, you're wrong. And they're like, no, it's fine. I was like, man, blow your mind. Guys Mess up me and Japan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, how do you even find Hawaii? That's what I want to know. I mean, good find, but golly, somebody's like they talk about Christopher Columbus finding America. Like, how about the guy that found Hawaii? Like, uh, what, what do we have here? I mean, how did you get here? Like, yeah, what I, were you doing when you just stumbled upon Hawaii? And, and sleep. My other question, um, you know, it's I had extreme fear of planes. And I know you have a lot of anxieties. <laughs> um, and mine was unnecessary. But that flight from L.A. to Hawaii, my first time going there, was rough. And I was like, man, we're going to land out in the middle of the ocean. No one's ever going to find us. We're so far out <laughs> off the coast. I mean, it was rough. I was That's like, still true, brother. You, if something goes wrong out on your way to Hawaii, you better hope it's on your way home. Because right? yeah. at least the last thing you remember is being in paradise instead of <laughs> LAX. Yeah. You know? Oh man, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I, I've never been to Hawaii, and, and that's part of the reason why I don't like doing long flights um, over water. I mean, there's nowhere. To, like, what do you? Where do you have an emergency landing? You know, on the ocean. Good luck. Yeah, uh, you know, I, yeah. I mean, you know, sleep. I don't even like to think about that.